Numbers seem infallible, precise, calculated, objective. But what if we told you that even the most accurate data can mask the truth? Welcome to the world of data manipulation, where figures don't lie, but liars figure. Look, we all love a good statistic. It's satisfying. It's quantifiable. It's practically begging to be tweeted out with a smug, well, actually. But the truth is, data is a lot like a drunken magician's assistant, forced to support whatever narrative their master is trying to sell. Today, we'll uncover the tricks, the traps, and the outright tomfoolery used to make data dance to someone else's tune. Let's dive in. Cherry picking is one of the oldest tricks in the book. It's precise data, but it's not the whole story. Imagine a study saying, nine out of 10 dentists recommend this toothpaste. Sounds great, right? But what they conveniently forgot to mention is they only surveyed 10 dentists who work for the toothpaste company. That, my friends, is the essence of cherry picking. It's like bragging about your winning streak at the casino, conveniently omitting all those times you left emptier than a politician's promise. We see this everywhere. Politicians using carefully chosen crime statistics to justify harsher laws Companies highlighting positive customer reviews while burying the negative ones under a mountain of legal paperwork. Remember, folks, context is key. Always ask yourself, what am I being told? What's lurking just outside the frame of this perfectly curated data set? Averages can be deceiving. Always ask, is this the mean, median or mode? And what's the distribution? Let's say a company boasts about its average salary being $100,000. Sounds fantastic, right? Champagne for everyone. But hold your celebratory bubbly, because that number alone doesn't tell the whole story. What they might not be telling you is that the CEO makes $10 million a year while the rest of the employees barely scrape by on minimum wage. The average here is skewed by an outlier, making the overall picture look far rosier than it actually is. Don't be fooled by a single number presented without context. Demand the breakdown, the spread, the whole damn data set. Otherwise, you're just blindly trusting someone else's map. And as we've established, those numbers can be as slippery as a buttered weasel. Just because two things happen together doesn't mean one causes the other. Always look for the real story behind the numbers. This is a classic, folks. The old correlation does not equal causation conundrum. You know the drill. A study shows that people who eat kale every day live longer. Cue the kale smoothies and the smug Instagram posts. But hold on a minute. Maybe, just maybe, people who eat kale every day also tend to exercise regularly, avoid smoking like the plague, and generally make healthier life choices. The kale itself might not be the magic bullet. This is where critical thinking comes in handy. Don't be swayed by flashy headlines. Dig deeper, question the assumptions. Just because two things happen at the same time doesn't mean one magically causes the other. No matter how much the internet tries to convince you otherwise. Exactly. It's crucial to understand the underlying factors and not just take things at face value. Correlations can be intriguing but they are not the full story. Always dig deeper for the real answers. 
Chapter 4 Visual Deception The Art of Chart Junk Always check the axes. Are they starting at zero? Are the scales consistent? A distorted graph can make a small change look huge. Ah, graphs. Those colorful little charts that promise to make data digestible. But beware, my friends, for a graph can be as misleading as a politician's tax return. One of their favorite tricks, manipulating the axis. Let's say a company wants to show off its impressive sales growth. They might conveniently truncate the y-axis, making a tiny 2% increase look like a meteoric rise to success. Or they might use different scales on the same graph, making one data set look significantly larger than the other, even if the actual difference is negligible. Don't be fooled by flashy visuals. Put on your skeptical spectacles and scrutinize those axes like you're auditing a mob boss's finances. Chapter 5 Simpson's Paradox When the trend takes a U-turn This is Simpson's Paradox When trends reverse When you break data into groups Always dig deeper Now get ready for your minds to be mildly blown Simpson's Paradox is a statistical phenomenon where a trend appears in different groups of data, but disappears or even reverses when the groups are combined. It's like finding out that your favorite band sounds terrible when they play all their instruments at the same time. Let's say a study claims a new drug is effective in treating a disease, but when you break down the data by gender, you discover that the drug is actually less effective for both men and women individually. How is that possible, you ask? Well, it could be due to confounding variables, like age or pre-existing conditions, that weren't accounted for in the initial analysis. Simpson's paradox reminds us that sometimes, the more you zoom out, the less clear the picture becomes. It's a statistical magic trick that highlights the importance of digging deeper and asking the right questions. Chapter 6. The Bigger Picture. Context is king. Precise data is a tool. But like any tool, it can build or destroy. Ask who wields it, what's omitted, what story isn't told. So we've reached the crux of the matter. Data, my friends, is not inherently good or evil. It's a tool, like a hammer. You can use it to build a house, or you can use it to bash someone's head in. The responsibility lies with the wielder. When you encounter a statistic, don't just accept it at face value. Ask yourself, who's presenting this data? What are their motives? What information might they be conveniently leaving out? What's the story they're trying to tell? And more importantly, what story are they telling? Remember, data can be manipulated, massaged, and molded to fit any narrative. It's up to us, the discerning audience, to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism and a thirst for the truth. So the next time you see a statistic, don't just blindly accept it as gospel. Channel your inner skeptic. Ask the tough questions. Demand context. Remember, Data can be a powerful tool for understanding the world around us, but only if we use it wisely. Share this video to spread 
data literacy. Because in a world of numbers, the truth is worth fighting for.